So the new spirituality, the spirituality of the future is a spirituality which is very corporeal, it's very present, it's very here and now, in fact, it's presence itself. <laughs> I have a question, Maharishka Ji, about empathy in the soul. And how does empathy influence the individual's expression and knowing of their soul? For example, in my experience with empathy, you can feel how someone else is perceiving the world. And that can influence a direct experience of my own. And I wonder, how important is that? And um, how does it influence the individual expression of the soul, of Priya born of Pamela, mm -hmm. her soul? So there's a direct connection between the depth of self-realization and the empathy that you feel for the other. The deeper the self-realization, the greater the empathy. And what is interesting is that when the empathy is a result of self-realization, which means the tuning in to the center of your being, to soul, to source, to truth, the resulting empathy is of a kind which won't lead to harm or negativity to your person. When you have people who are empaths, but who are not within the system, who are not deeply entrenched within the system, who are not tuned in to the very cellular materiality of their being, who are not present here and now, but are more blissed out, tuned out, more cosmically inclined, the system becomes porous, it becomes extremely sensitized, but it doesn't have the defenses. So you have an empath who is essentially materially weakened. But when you're tuned in to the source and the soul in a sense of surrender, and when we say source or truth or soul, these are different words and they have a different meaning for each person. And that's the beauty of it also. Because we don't need to know what that exactly is and what is it made up of and, okay, it's an atom, but then what kind of atom? And all of that is not so necessary. What is important is to understand that there is a center to you and that center is independent of what you call you, Priya. So Priya is the one that is actually in surrender to that center and that surrender strengthens her materiality and therefore as she develops this empathy, she is not weakened by it, but strengthened by it. It's amazing how that works, and it really works for everyone who is by nature, and I think everyone in this satsang today is going to be fundamentally empathetic, because else you wouldn't be in a satsang like this to start with. Even those who learn because they want to have power over others, are fundamentally empathetic and haven't found that out yet. So the more you bend and surrender, the more life itself is devoted to that. And it doesn't mean that you walk around with a halo and you can't write a check. It doesn't mean that. It just means being very present, being very tuned in, being in love with the Source, with the Self, which is love itself. But that empathy that results from that is not weakening you. You just become stronger. You become more powerful in a consolidated sense, in a coherent sense, you know. 
So it is very important to bend, to surrender, to go into that state. Thank you, that makes a lot of sense. And in fact, going inward instead of going out and in the cosmos, but going in and taking information perhaps exactly. to the source, to the soul, makes you just that much more solid. Absolutely. It is not even taking any information anywhere. Finally, uh -huh. what it boils down to is that you, so you're present, you're here and now, you're aware of this being present, and you're in a state of surrender, you're bending. And you're bending to what? Very, very technically spoken, when you say bending to the Soul, you're bending to the Self, which is you. But the identification with the Soul is not what is to be done here, because then you detach from everything. If you say, I am the Soul, uh -huh. then you're detached. And surrender is the key, not detachment. Detachment is not the key to being able to live in the body, here and now, present in this world, and and dealing with the challenges of a very real life, you know? But the empathy, the feeling, the wanting to do good, is from a place of surrender, not from ambition. Like, doing good, but not being exploited. Feeling the pain, but not throwing yourself in front of the bus, so to speak. Yes, you won't do that if you are in surrender to Self. You're more likely to do that if you're spaced out. People who meditate a lot, for example. People who take too many drugs, people who drink too much alcohol, people who chant for many hours, non-stop. That experience of bliss is actually a movement of consciousness which moves into a bliss state, but then it starts to also leave the system. And the more you leave the system, the less protected the system is. You know, makes sense. So the new spirituality, the spirituality of the future, is a spirituality which is very corporeal, it's very present, it's very here and now, in fact, it's presence itself. And these are not, you know, these are not meant to be words, they are meant to be actions in action. Now, present, tuned into the other, aware of the other, yet equally aware of your own materiality, 